what's up guys so on the last video I did um, uh, I covered the topic of hit cardio but now I kind of want to do a series of videos covering um, diet and nutrition that's what I get asked the most questions on it's what I have the most to say um, most to talk about um, that's kind of where a lot of my knowledge is I'm not gonna try to get too in depth. I'm going to try to keep each segment brief and I'm not try not to ramble on too much just so that you guys get actually get some quality information out of this. Um, I'm going to start with more broad topics and I'll get more specific probably in future videos. So what I want to start with this in the first video, what I want to start with is structuring your diet the basics uh, the basic structure of your diet and the most important aspects of your general diet so the biggest thing to note is and a lot of people get thrown off on this it doesn't matter what your macros are like it doesn't matter what you eat or how you eat if your calories aren't on track so the biggest thing is calories. Calories in versus calories out. If you're trying to lose weight and you're eating too much, you're not going to lose weight. Simple as that. If you're trying to gain weight or maintain weight and you're not eating enough or you're eating too much, you're not going to see the results you want. It's Yes, there's a lot more to it than this, but the basic concept is calories in versus calories out. Before you think about anything else, that's what you need to get dialed in. So, if you're trying to gain weight, you need to find your maintenance calories. I usually do this by tracking your weight and your nutrient intake for like a week, seeing how it changes, and adjusting from there to find your maintenance. Once you find your maintenance, um, 500 calories a day equals about a pound a week, whether you want to gain weight or lose weight so if you're at maintenance and let's say you want to gain a pound a week you would increase your daily intake by 500 calories if you're at maintenance and you want to lose a pound a week you would drop 500 calories a day and that would put you in a deficit now after you figure out the caloric intake you need the first thing for structuring your diet is to look at your protein intake. Um, you don't need crazy high protein intakes like a lot of magazines and fitness professionals will suggest or looking at pro bodybuilders that are jacked up on all types of anabolics and illegal substances. Um, they can get away with a higher protein intake. You as the general lifter do not need that high of a protein intake. What's you're gonna max out um, how optimal your protein intake is about at around one gram per pound of body weight. I would say a good place to start is 0.8 grams per pound of body weight. If you're starting really overweight um, and have a lot of fat mass you could base that off of your lean body mass but if you're at a reasonable body fat just somewhere between 0.8 grams per pound and 1 gram per pound of body weight in grams of protein per day is significant um, 1 gram per pound is more than enough that's usually what I'm at sometimes when I'm um, in a surplus of calories or my calories are really high like right now I'm at 3400 calories and I get a lot of protein from vegetables and grains and whatnot I still have my base protein intake from meat so my protein intake is going to be a little bit higher than it would be if I was consuming less calories because I I, I want to get um, protein sources with the complete amino acid profile like meats, eggs, dairy, etc. So after you set your protein intake, then you want to look at fats. Um, 
a good place to start with fats, you don't want to drop them too low. Now, this is going to depend a lot on your insulin sensitivity, which I can talk about in a future video. I'm not going to get into that now and, and how it relates to body fat. Um, but for fats, you want to have a baseline of a number you don't want to go under. I'd say um, a good baseline is about 0.4 grams per pound of body weight. Um, at 0.4 grams per pound of body weight, that should be your like absolute minimum fat intake for proper hormone production. If you're not eating enough fats, um, you're not your body's not going to produce. Um, hormones optimally so things like testosterone um, it's gonna mess with that and you definitely don't want that if you're trying to build muscle or maintain muscle while you're cutting or bulking whatever so definitely want to have meet that minimum fat intake you can increase that and drop your carb intake if you don't respond well to carbs uh, a lot of people that are overweight or have bad insulin sensitivity will respond better to a higher fat, lower or moderate carb diet. But that's kind of up to you. The, usually the leaner you are, the more, the higher carb intake you can get away with while not seeing negative results. And that's going to end up producing more of a higher performance in the gym. The only time you don't want um, a higher carb intake would be if you're following a ketogenic diet. Obviously, you want your carbs really low. But after that, after you set your protein and fat intake, your protein intake is always going to be steady. Your fat and your carbs, um, you want to, you have to meet, I would say you need to meet your minimum fat intake, but. If you want to go higher fat, lower carb, that's totally fine. Just see how your body responds. But generally, after you meet your minimum fat intake, the rest of your um, calories can come from carbs. You just want to make sh sure that you're getting plenty of fiber. I'd say absolute minimum of 10 to 15 grams of fiber per um, 1,000 calories. So let's say you're eating 3,000 calories a day, that would be a minimum fiber intake of 30 grams. Right now, I'm eating 3,400 calories a day, and my fiber intake's at like 50, 60 grams. Um, that's just, I eat a lot of vegetables, a lot of fiber-rich foods, but that's the next thing, um, making sure you're eating plenty of green, leafy vegetables, a variety of vegetables, fruits, some fruits, um, I wouldn't say eat an insane amount of fruit, but more focus on vegetables. Beyond that, I'll get into uh, optimal sources of nutrients in a future video, but for now, just make sure you get your calories on track first. Don't buy into all this, a calorie is not a calorie. Um, that's splitting hairs and absolutely pointless for the average person. Um, generally, calories in versus calories out is what really matters. After that, meeting your uh, minimum protein intake and then getting the rest of your calories from carbs and healthy fats. I'll talk about fat sources in a future video. I'll talk about carbs in a another video. but. That's the basis of structuring a diet. So figure out your maintenance calories, adjust it from there based on your goals. <clears throat> Sorry, adjust from there based on your goals. And that's the, the basics of structuring a diet. So I'll get more detailed in future videos, but I don't want to drag this on too long. Catch you guys in the next video.